This is CNN Breaking News. What would you do if you ran Malaysia Airlines? Would you hire a crisis management team to rehabilitate what many are saying now is a tarnished image? Just this morning, the Malaysian transportation minister again protested that any allegations that the government had something to do with the flight's disappearance were untrue. Lanny Davis is a crisis management expert whose firm is in negotiations or discussions with the Malaysian government for possible representation, advising them how to handle this crisis. He's also the former special counsel to President Bill Clinton and author of Crisis Tales, Five Rules for Coping with Crisis in Business, Politics, and Life. Lanny, you've had a very impressive list of clients of individuals who've gotten jammed up and needed help with communication strategy. I mentioned President Clinton. Penn State University, Martha Stewart, Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Redskins. And your mantra has always been tell it early, tell it all, and tell it yourself. How does that apply to this case? Well, it applies to every case except where you're putting somebody in jail and then you need criminal lawyer advice. So in this situation, without disclosing anything that I've uh, said to a possible uh, client relationship with the Malaysian government, there's two general rules that really are almost universal. Uh, and it's part of that mantra that uh, I wrote as a subtitle to my White House book. One, transparency and communication is elemental and the starting point. In this case, the tick-tock of exactly what happened, what was learned, how they found out, and laying out the timetable is essential. And number two, the families going to human uh, reaction, human grief, human need for communication, for personal communication delivery and empathy. That would be my number two rule. And again, these are general rules. I'm not revealing specific advice that I've given. I respect that. I, I know your firm, Levick, is in conversations, but not formally retained at this moment, and I, and I respect Correct. that. Are there circumstances where, you know, the horse has already left the barn? I mean, we're a month into this now. Would it even be possible to restore credibility? Yes, part of that is acknowledging that maybe things weren't done so well and explaining how difficult it is. There is a sort of a can't win situation when families are grieving and they want answers and you don't have answers. You can't win that. You simply have to reach out to them and stay with them one on one. The Chinese government has behaved fairly oddly. It's been extremely critical of the Malaysian government, yet it's not very transparent itself of all countries in the world who shouldn't be preaching about transparency is the Chinese government. Now's the time to forget all of those rivalries and have a collection of governments regarding the cost of looking for this plane. It seems to me that every government with any individual on that plane should be financing this search and the international community as well. I'm so glad that you brought up the Chinese because look where we are today. The day began with an early morning, our time, press conference by the Malaysians, essentially saying that there were no significant new developments. And then two hours later comes the report that the Chinese may have heard the ping sound. How do you control that intangible if you are Lanny Davis in a case like this? And do you involve the government? Do you try and, and get the United States government to rattle the cages of these other nations to play fair and swap information? Yes, you must reach out government to government. Part of what I do is not just media, but it's politics and government. You have the Malaysian government, the Chinese government, the U.S. government, the international community could get together and try to plan together. I think there is some sympathy for the Chinese government who are hearing from their constituents in this terrible family grief that they're hearing. But there should be diplomacy at work here to cooperate. There should have been an immediate transmission to the Malaysian government by the Chinese in real time as soon as they heard that ping, if they heard that ping. In other words, this isn't a time for national rivalries and a crisis manager needs to have a multiple of disciplines, diplomacy, political, media, legal, all of those things need to be brought to bear to tell the full story, not only to their own people and to the families, but to the globe, uh, the global community that is quite involved and interested and, and empathetic with what the families are going through. Tell it early, tell it all, tell it yourself. Lanny Davis, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, Michael. We may have